Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday the 28th, I think. Let me look. <laughs> yeah, December 28th. I had a bunch of stuff to show you. I, I went to Joanne's, I went to Hobby Lobby, I went to Dollar Tree, and I got a bunch of mail. <laughs> so I thought I would just do it all together so I can clean it up and get off my table because I gotta start cutting fabric tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm just gonna hop into it and I'll start with Joanne's because that's where I went first. I went there to get some fabric um, to make bags with. <laughs> So first I found this fabric that I wanted, I bought because I want to make a bag for myself and then there'll be enough left over to make one more bag to put in the shop. But it is The Shining. So it's the creepy twins from The Shining. I'm going to make me a tote bag out of that and then I'm going to have a tote bag in the shop for, um, to sell eventually. And then I got enough to make a two of this print. I thought it was really pretty. And I'm already looking forward to spring so I'm, I'm ready for spring. <laughs> I got, uh, I have to make two bags of this, um, Nightmare for Christmas print. I thought this blue was so pretty. So, there's going to be two totes of that. And then I found this cute Minnie and Mickey with blue genie looking print. Super cute. And then I found this really pretty one. This reminded me of my mom as well I bought it. <laughs> it's got, uh, sunflowers and little birds on it. And, um, there's two, there are enough for two. I bought the rest of the bolt, but it was only a little over a yard, so... There'll for sure be two bags out of that. And this print I bought, it's just under two yards. So I'm going to try to get four bags out of it, but I may only be able to get three. But it's a really cute uh, goat print. I thought it was so cute. It's hard for me to find goats, and people ask for goats all the time. <laughs> They're very popular. But I found this one. I thought it was really cute. When I first saw it, all I saw was their legs, and I thought it was alpacas or llamas. And when I pulled it out, I saw that they were goats. So um, I was excited. I bought all they had left of it, and it was just under two yards so i might be able to get four out but for sure three so that's all i got at joanne's i looked at the yarn but i wasn't impressed by their yarn sale so i didn't get any <laughs> but then today we went to i guess i'll do hobby lobby i only got one piece of fabric there didn't see anything that popped out at me and uh i thought this was cute though it's pooh bear i've had a lot of people ask about pooh bear prints so i got a pooh bear print and uh so that'll be two tote bags coming up you show them this. Oh, people. All right. And then uh, I've been wanting to try a diamond painting. So I got just a, it's a beginner one, <laughs> a unicorn diamond painting kit. I'm going to try that out. A lot of people say it's fun. So I got one to try. And then I went over to like the clearance section and I found some things I wanted to buy there. So I got this little jewelry box. It was originally $20, but it was marked down to $4.99. I thought it looked kind of Tiffany-ish, which I love Tiffany. And it's got like uh, rings and uh, little places to put, you know, little things. And then underneath it's a bigger compartment for like a necklace or something. I thought that was really cute. I don't have a lot of jewelry, but I want to do how I want to keep safe. <laughs> so uh, I got this cute little box to put it in. And then also in the clearance section, I found these two. They're keychain pom-poms. They were 74 cents each, but they got this stretchy thing like pom-poms for hats have. So I'm going to take the keychain off and I'm going to use these for hat pom-poms. And then I have keychain things if I want to make keychains. So I, I thought that was pretty good for 75 cents, 74 cents. Get a pom-pom and a keychain attachment. They only had two or I would have bought more. <laughs> really pretty rainbow ones. But I thought that'd be cute on a hat. Very cute. <laughs> so I think I found you at Hobby Lobby. Let me set this down here. Now I found your yours. I will. Just just a second. <laughs> While I was at Hobby Lobby though, I saw something I really wanted but it was way overpriced I thought and it was like a thing you would hang behind like pictures and stuff of plastic flowers glued to uh like twine hanging from like a stick and it was $49.99 I took a picture of it I'll insert that and I also took a picture of the price tag and uh, I told Devin I was like that's really pretty to be pretty in the background of videos but I think I could make one for cheaper so I wanted to go to Dollar Tree to see if I could find the stuff to make it with and I found everything except like a stick to hang it from. And I'm going to find that like in nature. <laughs> Go to my in-laws or something and try to find a stick. But so at Dollar Tree, I've, I was looking at all the flowers and I like pink. So I picked out some pink flowers. I got, I don't even know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bunches of these pink flowers. And I'm hoping that's enough. And then I also got some of their... Mama. Keychains off because I needed your keychain. I'll take them off in just a little bit and give you one, okay? 
And then I got four of their nine feet long juke cords. Is that what that's called? <laughs> Nautical rope. They didn't have the thin. I wanted the thin, but I couldn't find it at my Dollar Tree, so I had to get the thick. But I'm going to make it work. Uh, I might even be able to untwist it and use one strand. I don't know. I'm just trying. Mama. So that's that's $11 right there. Mama. So I'm going to try to make that myself. And if it goes good, I'll make a video on how to make it. <laughs> but uh, so I just, I need a stick and I got hot glue already. So I'm going to try to make it and see how I like it <laughs> and go from there. But I thought it was crazy that it was $49.99 for plastic flowers and jute. <laughs> but I'm going to try that. I, got, I just got to find a stick. Also at my Dollar Tree. Um, they had restocked some of their little yarns this year and it was the Aran. So it's the bigger than four, smaller than five weight, which I really like. So they had, I have two grays and I found three more. So this is third gray. I think it's called Mist. Yeah, Mist. And it's Premier Just Yarn Aran. So it's bigger than a four, smaller than a five. So now I have five of these and I found three blue. <laughs> it's just called blue. Three blues, it's kind of mangled, but they're still there. <laughs> I found three of, I'm assuming black, oh, ebony. It's black, it's just the lighting is weird. <laughs> and then I only found two of the antique white. But I got all of them. They still had a ton of the yes. cotton. Nobody likes the cotton, I guess. But uh, the other day they were all out of the worsted and the Aran, but then they must have got another little shipment or something. So um, I grabbed them all up. <laughs> That's what I'll go at the Dollar Tree. So I was excited about that. And then Happy Mo. Okay. I got some Christmas cards. And I'll show them. And then I'll do I got some fabric gifts, which is awesome. And I also got another gift. So this first card is from Cindy. She supports a lot of us, a lot of us YouTuber crochet knit channels. <laughs> so Santa warming himself up. And then I got one from Braille at the Dabbling Dabbling Hook. I'll link anyone who has a channel below. If I can remember. <laughs> She sent a really cute card out. I seen other people getting it and I was hoping I'd get one and I did. With her little octopus on it and her little thing she made with that pattern. It's a nice little card. I want them to do something like this next year. I, I gotta figure it out though. <laughs> and this one is from Lisa. She's from Happy to Hook uh, Creations. She's getting surgery today. So um, I'm hoping that she's doing well. She's, she's probably done by now. <laughs> but she sent this card. Very pretty. And this one is from Lauren. She's in Rhode Island. I don't think I've gotten one from Rhode Island before. That's cool. <laughs> Look at this one. She made the hat and the sweater that's on the cat. Look, Jessie. Isn't that silly? That cat's wearing a sweater and a hat. Mm -hmm. That is so cute. But yeah, that is so cute. Oswald. I'm assuming that's the cat's name. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. This one is from Melanie in Pennsylvania. Lots of Pennsylvania people lately. This one's real pretty. Mama, you might have to scooch back a little bit. No. It's mm -hmm. fine. Are you trying to tie me up? No. I'm trying to make a trick, so if Daddy comes over here... He'll trip. He'll, he'll make this go this all the way around this. Mm-hmm. This one is from... <coughs> You okay? Are you okay? Come here. Let me look. I don't think there's no blood. Oh, go watch out with your head, baby. I don't see no blood. Oh. Are you alright? Are you okay? Okay. Well, baby, go watch your head, okay? Because it's gonna hurt. Alright, this one was from Susan in Canada. I did not saw that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ontar you know Ontario. Because Daddy went to take Christmas stuff to the storage, so he'll be back in a little bit. It's glittery. That's why I, that's why I move it like that. Sometimes my hand shakes, though. My hand was just shaking. Got like a weird hand shaky thing going on. And then this one, this one I was super excited about. It's from Germany. I saw the stamp, and I was like, what the heck kind of stamp is that? <laughs> and then on the back, it's she's got her address. She also has a channel. This is uh, Reggie. I think I said that right. And why is there, she, her channel is uh, J Hook Crochet. I'll link all of these people with channels down below. And it's got a like a cool stamp on it, but it's you can't hardly see it because it's um, it's black on navy blue. But anyways, this is the card she sent me. So I have Australian cards this year, two of them, Canada cards, all over the U.S. cards, and Germany cards. So that's so cool. 
and I got best wishes from New Zealand and Norway. So that's a really cool card. But inside the card, she included two T's, and they're in German. This one says joy, and this one says love, and it's got German, I, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, it says mint, and this is lemon. It's got multiple languages. I don't know which is which. Licorice, mint, and ginger lemon. That's what it says. I'm assuming it's English and German, right? Yeah. Anyways, that's really cool. <laughs> so that's the cards that I got. I did also get some packages. So I got one big package from Valerie. And I think I'm expecting another one from her because I saw another one on my tracking from the same city. But she sent me a bunch of fabric. She had mentioned that she was de-stashing and she was going to send some to me. And I didn't expect her to send one such nice fabric and two so much of it. <laughs> but I'm super excited because it'll help me make a bunch of bags. So uh, I'll show you these big pieces and then I'll do the fat quarters because she sent a ton of fat quarters. But these are big pieces. These are probably a couple yards. I haven't unfolded them. But this is a really cute dinosaur print, but it's girly, so that's cool. Where's your scissors? Uh, it's in my cart in there. Yeah. They should be in that cart in there. Go look. And this is another, like, girly dinosaur print. And then there's a really cute, this would be cute tote bags. Like, blue jean pockets with lace. They're so 90s. And the little roses. I remember wearing stuff that had all that on there <laughs> when I was a kid. And then Devin loves this one because he loves wiener dogs. Got wiener dogs and hearts. And then the last big piece was like a dinosaur boyish print. So I think those are super cute. So that's the big ones. And then she sent a ton of fat quarters. A ton of them. A ton, a ton, a ton. Okay. These ones. Let's see. She sent two of these little bundles. Ah! Of different pink ones. Two of these little bundles with these florally prints, purpley florals. <laughs> Two of the Harry Potter houses. Mama, I didn't find any. Are they not in there? No, there's. I don't there. know where they're at, bub. They're somewhere. Hold on a minute. Let me get done, and then I'll find them. These are Star Wars prints. Two little bundles. And then these are two purple butterflies. And then a little... You can leave that alone. Okay, that's the junk drawer. These um, color ones. These are more Harry Potter ones that are single prints. I've had this set before. Someone else gifted me this same set of like dog related <laughs> things i'm pretty sure because i think i made crab bags out of it wait that is that a dog that's a yeah it's a chihuahua i thought it was a fox dog print and then this plastic thing i just got home i'm trying to hurry before Devin gets home he went to take a load of stuff to our storage building but these floral and pink and blue polka dots and some cute florally prints this one I'm really excited about. I'll probably keep these and make something for myself out of this. I can get it open. It's Christmas prints. Really cute. And then it's this one. This one. Green one. I think these are fat quarters. They feel like fat quarters. It's got cats on it. This one's got cats on it too. This one looks cute and vintagey. Did you find Daddy's gloves? That's in years. No, those are Daddy's. I bought them for Daddy. Oh. Yeah. I was about to. This is where Daddy works out. And then these ones. I was about to go find scissors. I don't know where the scissors are. I'll have to find them in a minute, okay? I can't use some sharp ones. No, you can't use sharp ones. You gotta use the little ones. And then these are fat quarters also. Tons of um, Star Trek, which there's not enough to make one bag, but I thought about putting two together, like a top print and a bottom print to make bags with these. Here's some Star Wars ones. There's some over here. A Disney princess. Put that back because that goes to Mama's puzzle thing. Cats. And different cats. Paisley and that 
one, two, more Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek, Sharks, Star Wars, Harry Potter, and two more Star Trek ones, that one, and that one. So that's all from Valerie. I've got some more here in a minute I'm going to show you, but Devin just got home, so I'm going to have to cut this for just a second. Okay, let's try that again. I was trying to film with Devin here, but Jesse ended up getting in trouble by Daddy, so I had to, to stop. <laughs> Anyways, this next little stack is from Cindy Moulter. She mentioned in a comment um, that she had some fabric that she was going to send me, so she sent it to me, and she wants, she asked if I could make a bag whenever I have the time, so I will definitely do that. So this is a card she sent. Look at And then this is the print that she wants a bag out of. I think she said a small bag. It's in her note. So I will like for a couple of skeins. So I will. I'll make that eventually. <laughs> I'll try to work on that hair soon. I'm going to be sewing this next week. A whole bunch of this. Does it say how much is on there? I don't know. Maybe three yards. I can't. And I'm not, I don't know how to read that uh, label. A few fat quarters. There's some green ones, blue one, and this blue one. <laughs> but they're all those other fat quarters. This print, I've made bags with this before. Last year or year before that, it's like Valentine's Day cookies. And then there's this print. Two pieces of it. Some blue, some maroony color. Mustard, which I love this color. Some of my favorite colors. I love pink and bright colors, but this is one of my favorite not bright colors. This one. These would go good together. I might make an outer and a liner. And then there's, this was like a fat quarter of this blue. Put this down here. And then there's this really cute print. Really cute. So that's all from Cindy. So thank you so much, Cindy. Gotta get all this separated. I did not get, I did not expect to get so much fabric today. <laughs> and then the last package that I got today was from Tracy from I Love Loopy uh, Crocheting Treasures. Um, where was there? Okay, got it all spread out already. So first there was a Christmas card that's also glittery. Santa. And um, let's say we'll do to that. So she sent some stickers. These are cute, like puffy stickers, little cats, <laughs> a little grumpy cat. <laughs> and then these are like cats and dogs, like realistic stickers, really cute. And then she sent a little bag with some foam stickers. There's some ladybugs, some bumblebees, there's like four each of each, and some butterflies. And then she sent this little uh, organza bag. And inside of it was a stitch marker that she made me. It's really pretty. And also one of these little prayer boxes. She she showed these. I thought they were so cute. But on the inside there's a scripture right there. And there's a little notepad and a little little tiny mechanical pencil <laughs> for writing your prayers on. Oh, that's so cute. She also included a note and a picture that she printed out for me but I'm actually gonna keep that private because it's uh, it has to do with my miscarriages so uh, I'm just gonna keep that private she put it in between cardboard so it wouldn't get bent uh, but I do appreciate it a lot Tracy and thank you so much for sending it to me but that's all I did <laughs> that's some happy meal I picked up today Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby and Joann's a lot of stuff going on. I got a lot of stuff to clean up. My table is just messed up. Tomorrow, I'm planning on starting to cut fabric for bags. I got to cut it out and see how much, um, how many of each bag I can make. I'm planning on making some tote bags and maybe some drawstring bags in the next update. I might do an update of tote bags and then an update of drawstring bags or vice versa. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out tomorrow. I got to cut everything and liners and the interfacing and all that stuff handles and make sure I got enough of everything to do all the bags and go from there <laughs> but um so that'll be let's see here tomorrow is the 29th probably before the next weekend not this coming weekend new year's weekend but the one after that I could probably get a shop update that week so yay I kind of missed sewing I haven't sewed in I think two or three weeks I've been taking a break and um 
you know, holiday. <laughs> so, I, and I want to get uh, working on this flower thing. Each one of these has five flowers on it. I'm pretty sure. So, that's going to be fun to make. And if I can, I don't even know where I'm going to hang it at. But I want to hang it somewhere that will be in the background of some of my videos. <laughs> but I just thought it would be super cute. And I seen it at Hobby Lobby and I, I wanted it. But I wasn't going to pay $50 for it. When I know that I'm crafty enough to make something like that myself. But uh, I just got to go stick hunting. We'll have to do that. <laughs> Find a good stick that's like three feet long. I don't know. Yeah. What else I got to do this week? Uh, I was going to record an old catch name song today. But we were gone most of the day. And um, I didn't have time to do it. So I'm gonna. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Devin has to work tomorrow and maybe Wednesday. And then he's going to be off Thursday and Friday for New Year's. And then after Friday, his schedule will be back to normal. So, that's good. I'm actually really glad for that. Because <laughs> I'm ready for things to get back into their um, their normal routine. And that's like Christmas. I love Christmas. I decorate it for it early and everything, you know. But after Christmas, I'm ready to get it all packed up and get the house cleaned and get everything ready to be back into our normal routine. So, I got everything back to where it's supposed to be. And uh, Chris, Devin's taking the last Christmas tree. He left. He forgot the Christmas sign. I just seen that back there. I'll have to take that another day. It was behind the door. But, um... I just want to get everything back to normal is what I'm trying and then get ready for the new year to start. I've got my uh, journal. Where's that right Got my journal started for 2021. Uh, I'm going to try to do weight loss again. <laughs> Hopefully it won't go crazy like I did last year. Devin's in it too this time. He actually got a punch a bag thing out of his, some of his Christmas money. So I got me some goals written down and I already got day one started, which is today. I've got to uh, fill that in. I'll do that in a little bit. Yeah, so I got my Fitbit on. I'm, I'm already doing two Fitbit um, challenges, uh, two different groups of people. And on my other channel, my life channel, I started, because uh, on, on that channel, I follow a bunch of weight loss channels and health channels. So uh, I started with another channel over there, a challenge, that's a, a walking, a steps challenge in January. So what he did is the guy who runs that channel, he, you know, all, all the people who signed up wanted to, and then he splits them into two teams, and then all month we try to get as many steps as possible to beat the other team so my team is called the balance breakers the other team is called heartless and um yeah i'm looking forward to that it looks like there's about five people on each team this time i watched the video today but i didn't count i wasn't paying that much attention to it but uh, i'm excited about that because i think it'll be motivating and uh i got my grocery list all ready for this weekend to go grocery shopping and get healthier stuff and i'm going to start making more videos on my other channel about health and uh, my vloggy stuff, you know, I'm going to try to get back into the groove I was in early last year, this year, the beginning, you know, New Year's 2020, because <laughs> I was in such a good groove until COVID and the babies and everything, so I'm going to try to get back on track with that since COVID is, it's not under control, but we, we know what it is now, and uh, we're not going to be trying to have any more babies, so I don't have to worry about losing anymore, and so hopefully 2021 will be better and a little bit less stressful, but yeah, so I didn't mean to blab a lot, but I got to get this video and edit it a lot because Jesse kept coming in here. But, um, and then I got to put all this up. I don't even know where I'm going to put some of this. I don't even know why I bought this yarn. I just bought it because I wanted it. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to make with it. But oh well. So is life, I guess. I'm going to clean all this up and I will see you guys tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Is tomorrow Tuesday or is today Tuesday? I can't even remember. Tomorrow is Tuesday. December 29th. That's when I'm going to film my No Kitchen Name episode. It'll probably be a short one though because I haven't really done anything. I've been crocheting a lot, but I've been crocheting on a test pattern that I'm not sharing with anyone. So, um, you know, I can't, can't even show that. But I've been working on a whole lot. I've got it almost done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to hop off here and get this done before the boys come back. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.